Welcome, looters. We have all been there. You're out killing zombies and a nicely colored loot bag appears. Yellow, blue, or maybe after a blood moon horde, a nice red or orange. Exciting, isn't it? You rush to open them up, red first, then all the blue and the remaining kind of boring yellows, and marvel at maybe getting some great loot and maybe not so good loot. But how does these loot packs actually work? I mean, really, really work. You, you might know the basics. You know, some zombies drop yellow, some harder zombies might drop the blue, and rarely do you get the red. I'm here to give you the inside scoop of the mechanics of how it works under the hood. But first off, it, it is a great addition to Alpha 20. Finally do we get to see more differentiation in loot. There's actually been some in the past, but it was all hidden behind the same type of loot bag. It's been expanded into multiple bag colors and loot types. Before I run this through, I really appreciate everyone's support to like the videos, provide your comments and subscribing. It really does help the channel grow, the content grow and get more eyeballs. You've all been great, so loot that thumbs up now. So looking here at my assistants, I know the beautiful ladies, you know, we have a yellow door, which of course leads to... Ta-da! yellow loot bags what a surprise it's what the regular basic loot is when you kill zombies sometimes it's okay sometimes it's just super super dull i mean let me open up let's see here uh all right that was not too bad that's all right got some ammo and everything so yeah you know, not, not too bad and everything but let's have a look into the XML of the game itself, which shows that it's the regular zombies that has this loot associated with them, as you can see here. I've cut out a bunch of the non-essential properties of the XML file, but you can see the basics of the zombie template that has the entity loot container regular. But how often does it drop? This is actually defined for each zombie type under the loot drop probability. Default seems to be 0.2 meaning 2% of the time. A book series completion can increase this if we go into our, this one. Go down to Lucky Looter, I believe it is. It says that enemies have a 20% higher chance to drop loot. It doesn't mean that you have 22%. No, no, no. It means an extra 20% in addition to the 2%. So effectively 2.4. But still, that's, that's still really helpful. It would be cool if the outfits in Alpha 21 could increase this further and maybe have some items that actually help as well. Such as, you know, the lo Lucky Looter goggles and all that. Now in the XML, this leads to a definition of the different loot containers, as you can see here, which then defines which loot lists are being used and the coloring of the bag. It also defines how long they stay around, which is currently 1200 seconds, which means 20 minutes, which should be more than enough time to loot in the morning after Blood Moon Horde. In turn, the next step is for the game to look at the actual loot and randomize it. At the bottom, you see the group Z pack reg is where it does that such as you know it's going to give ammo or it's going to use the pack one two or three each of these categories have different loots from food and drinks and resources to some tools and armor up to more rare gear cash and special items like the treasure maps so it's pretty straightforward how it actually does that now if we look at the next ones the blue bags as we can see here all that trash these are linked to the strong zombies. You have the cops, bikers, fat Hawaiian dudes, for instance, and you probably notice that as you play that certain zombie types will drop certain type of loot bags. It follows the same structure. It goes through determining that it is a blue bag and then picks the loot. As you can see here, the loot is overall a little bit better. It has more higher tier tools and armor, gear, even up to where you can find some vehicle parts and gear mods. While blue strong zombie loot bags are better, I do think that it could be perhaps a little bit more differentiated, but that's a balance issues. However, considering how much less blue bags you find overall, having significantly better loot does seem warranted. Let's have a look here. Let's check. Oh, actually, definitely more ammo. Take another one. Even more ammo. Really good. Ooh, mining helmet. So you see, the loot is definitely a little bit better. Now let's take a look at the boss loot and let's open up which color is going to be. Well, yeah, you guessed it, the red. Well, orange people have been saying it's orange and yeah, yeah, I'm still going to call it red. Currently, it's tagged to the Demolisher zombie. So you might hate the Demolisher, but it does give great loot and you can see 
there's a 30% chance. So this means there's a 30% chance to get a great red epic boss loot backdrop every time you kill a demolisher. So get to killing them instead of blowing them up. But let's have a look at the actual loot. You can see that it's a little bit better, but while it does give some better loot, I think it has the same issues as the blue, just maybe greater, in that the loot is not differentiated sufficiently from the strong zombie loot packs, or even the regular. Yes, slightly better, but you're likely to find a lot of similar items in the blue loot packs fairly often. All this epic loot, oh, yes, so, so, uh, that one I already opened, this one, yeah, we got a SWAT helmet, and... Here we got yeah, some ammo, another SWAT helmet, not too bad, not too bad, but you know, this one was alright, just that, yeah, I, yeah, I would love to have an M60 or something, oh, this one is pretty good though. Now, all in all, the system is in place, but I think that the biggest thing that it requires tweaking is to make the different tiers more unique. You could imagine the regular zombies having maybe some more resources, food and water, basic tools, maybe pistol, maybe a simple shotgun, and basic armor, but that's it. Then as you migrate up to the loot for the stronger zombies, you'd have more important resources, you know, maybe first aid kits, maybe first aid bandages, weapons up to tier two, maybe magnums, lever action rifle, scrap and iron armor, and then bosses coming with the best loot where you find a lot more ammo. You find the assault rifles, auto shotguns, military armor, but pretty much none of the lower tier stuff because what What's the point of finding lower tier stuff, some food and water and drinks, when you're looting a demolisher? It doesn't really make sense. There's nothing worse than running up to that delicious red bag and finding some food and water. What a waste. But that's how it works currently in Alpha 20. In closing this out, I would say I also wish that the fun pimps changes the bags from, you know, we have the yellow, okay, then we have the blue, same bottle, but just blue, and then we have the red. But they're a little bit cartoonish, kind of MMO approach to it. I wish they would have better assets. Maybe you would have, instead of having a yellow, bright yellow loot bag, maybe it would be, maybe small purses, small handbags, waste bag, you know, even plastic bag or something, which has the resources in them. As you get to the blue, maybe you get small backpacks, briefcases and the like, and then the red, you get, you know, military backpacks and something thematic. They could still keep the coloring tint of having them red, blue, and yellow to make them easier to identify, but get away from that cartoonish MMO style of bright colors that really don't make sense in a zombie apocalypse. I mean, who's gonna, come on, how many people do you see walking around with this kind of bag, colored bag? No, nothing wrong with the asset itself, but the coloring, that, that's just to make it too easy for the player, which I don't really like because it just looks a little bit cartoonish. So I do hope that they work on that for Alpha 21. But I do hope you enjoyed this lesson in boss loot mechanics. And if you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe, friends. See you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.